when people are like, oh, I got a mine, or I got, you know, some placer sands, it's like, great, uh, now do the other five steps. Because until you get to that last one, magnets and metals, you don't have anything. You have essentially a pile of rust. Having a mine, extracting it, concentrating it, separating it, all that stuff's good and necessary, but until you get to the part where you're electro-winning it or some other process, until you're making metal, you're not making anything. You're not making anything that anybody can really use. You can see in there, in the lower right-hand corner, at some point in there, the thorium, whatever, thorium oxide, thorium chloride, something falls out of the process, and that's where our ability to manipulate the material comes in. Mercifully, it's very easy to turn thorium chloride into thorium oxide, which is what clean core thorium energy needs. Thorium tetrafluoride is a one-step process also. You heat the thorium chloride up, bubble some hydrofluoric acid. So that's, you know, a little tricky to work with that, but you know, you're not talking about a 50-step process. It's fairly straightforward. So we're in the process of going to the NRC. For what we're doing, there is a very, very clear-cut set of rules, what's considered side stream byproducts from an industrial process. It's tempting to think that we're going to conform to and apply for a license under those very well set out rules. It's tempting to say, well, we'll just keep working on it, you know, license or no license, because we've followed our part. If the NRC can't, you know, honor us with, you know, a response and a full license, then that's the sort of thing that, uh, you know, they're going to force people to do if they want any sort of mining to take place in this country. But you can see the cartoony example there of the facility. It's a very straightforward facility, uh, and it's not particularly big, very well protected, and it's co-located with a rare earth processing facility. And there's already a lot of people looking for this material. Clean Core Thorium Energy needs hundreds of tons right now. Copenhagen Atomics would like to get their hands on a lot of this material right now. Dow and uh, WR Grace have spoken about the uh, catalytic nature of this and how they might consider getting back into thorium catalysts that they used to make back in the 90s. I'll leave it there. It's optimistic. I think that's an optimistic view. We're finally getting to the first real steps of uh, reintroducing thorium as a commercial product.